Hello peeps, uh, this is Mason Velez again with another video. Yeah, right before Steffi B's hypocrisy uh, came along, uh, I just, well, back in Sunday, November 5th, 2017, uh, I have, my family and I went to the, to one of those garage sales, and I decided to pick one that I feel like <clears throat> so, I have picked, I have chosen five things, and here it is, but this is the only PlayStation game that I, that I have, I mean, that I found, the Rugrats Studio Tour for the PlayStation, yeah, this, this is the front that you saw, here's the spine, oh shit, alright, another spine right there. Here's a back side. Yeah, I can't believe the ESRB rating didn't didn't submit nothing on, on it. Well, anyways, I call this game a comic mischief one. Yeah, this is another comic mischief game. And there's only four players, but too bad that you can't use a multi-tap. You have to share one controller with, with three other people. One block, analog control, and vibration function compatible. Here's the back of the booklet. Yeah, the yeah the Rugrats search for Reptar. Damn it. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, I I had this game back in 2012. I thought I was. I feel like having to get rid of this game for being too easy, but no, I just feel like keeping that because I realized that Rugrats was part of my childhood. But I can't believe I lost. I lost this game by mistake, but oh well, I'll find another one some other time. And here's the disc, just in case you don't know what it looks like. And right behind the disc is Angelica, Susie Carmichael, and Chucky Finster finding treasures. Uh, my honest opinion on Angelica Pickles is that she's overrated for being greedy. For being too greedy and stingy on cookies uh, against Tommy Pickles, Chucky Finster, uh, Phil and Lil, and other and everyone else, but and I'm also neutral towards Susie Carmichael just because that she was never mentioned on the Search for Red Tar game except except in this golf ice cream mountain golf game, but too bad that she couldn't. Speak I couldn't hear the voices. All right, now I have Friday the 13th Part 7, The New Blood. Yeah, oh, sorry about that. I was getting shaky because of fly on my damn arm. Yeah, you see a front, there's a spine. There's a back of that. Yeah, there's special features. Um, this is a deluxe version. Yeah, it was released by 2009. Yeah, Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah, haven't watched this. Uh, haven't watched this yet, but I'll get to that somehow. And also, a five-film collection of Final Destination. There's a spine. And yeah, five-film collection. Yeah, all we have is the first five films, which is Final Destinations One, Two, Three. The Final Destination and Final Destination 5. You you guys can call it The Final Destination or 2009. I'm talking about the 2009 version of Final Destination. Yeah, The Final Destination or Final Destination 2009. But I call the 2009 film of Final Destination, Final Destination 4. Yeah, five films and one damn price. I love it. Yeah. You could almost spend seven hours of of continuous blood and gore, intense violence, endless carnage of blood and gore, and I really love that since Mortal Kombat and Grand Theft Auto, but mostly Mortal Kombat. So this is, but you still have the same releases as the original ones. So yeah, this is Final Destination 1, Final Destination 2, yeah, CD-ROM, DVD-ROM, or whatever it is. 
Final Destination 3. Yeah, this is the DVD-ROM. I only have two DVD videos that contains DVD-ROMs on, on the computer, but I don't have a computer anymore. But I wish I had a laptop with a with a CD insert where you can where you can insert DVDs onto your computer for a DVD ROM or whatever it is. All right, the final destination. This, this is just clear. More like final destination four. Yeah, final destination five. Well, I'm not trying to pick on New Line Cinema, but shame on Warner Brothers and New Line Cinema for confusing the first Final Destination movie and the fourth movie of the Final Destination instead of putting the Final Destination which says it's supposed to be Final Destination 4. Yeah, how about that? But, now let's not take New Line Cinema or Warner Brothers too serious because I, I like that company. <coughs> and also we have The Terminator. But, too bad that uh, too bad that there's no artwork, and that really sucked ass. So, instead of two discs in one price, you just get two... You just get two different sides in one disc. Yeah, talk about... Talk about vinyl records logic. Yeah. So, side one... This is the, the Terminator DVD, and side two is... Some special features. So, yeah. Talk about vinyl records logic. Where vinyl records logic is... Is you... Yeah, take that as an example. If you own a vinyl version of... The record vinyl version of Metallica Kill Em All... You, with the... Uh, the 1988 reissue version... You would have... Uh, seven... Seven tracks in... In side A and five tracks in side B. Oh yeah, and also I have Wayne's World, Wayne's Worlds one and two. This is a it's got to be a special collection, but in one disc. That's really cool. Yeah, so that's the spine. Here's the back. So. Sorry, you can't even see the back. I mean, yeah, there it is. So this is clear. Gotta love two movies and one price deal. So anyways, that's all. That's all I have from the garage sale. There were only 50 cents each. Uh, I paid it for, I paid five of them for $2.50. So yeah, gotta love I love all the classics, actually comedy classics and adventure ones, and including stuff that's part of part of your childhood. All right, peeps, that's all I have to let you know about that. Anyways, this is Mason Veloz signing off. Peace.